Hello, what's going on YouTube? One on the X-Ray, I'm here. Today is a special day, because I finally, finally, could take a little ride on this sweet RSV4 1100 factory. Been wanting to do this for a while now. The shop here at On Animoto has gotten one in, and they're gracious enough to let me take it for a spin. Who knows? We may be adding this to the garage. I don't know, we'll see. But I hope you guys enjoy, and I hope I don't run out of battery. Oh, hell yes. Yeah. So here we are at the beautiful RC4 1100 factory. I've been wanting to ride one of these for a while now, and here we are. <laughs> it's a special day for me. I, I'm really excited about this. Um, this is going to be a short ride. Uh, one, I don't have a lot of battery left, and two, uh, our dealership does not want a lot of miles on it. Understandably so, especially if I'm not the one buying it, which I actually could be. So anyways, uh, let's talk about this bike. We got a 1,078cc motor. I know it says 1,100. This is actually a smaller motor than your V4 Ducati, which is 1,103. But this thing supposedly puts out 217 horsepower and 90 foot-pounds of torque. Whew. Wrap your head around that. Oh my god. I don't know if the sound of this exhaust will travel through, but man, does this bike sound incredible. So let's talk about this a little bit. Just like the regular RS34, uh, your, your rear sets that come standard are a little high, so you feel like your knees are up close to your elbows. Uh, that being said, if you move around the seat, which this bike allows you to move around a lot, again, it's very similar to the RS3 4 uh, standard uh, it's not bad it's comfortable the seat isn't super plush but it's oh fuck yes oh man but the seat isn't isn't uh, terrible as far as how it feels and and its cushiness I'll tell you what um, I've driven a lot I've ridden a lot of bikes with quick shifters a lot of my bikes have quick shifters Aprilia has the nicest, smoothest quick shifter out there. Yeah, they, they just do. Uh, sorry, if you wanna argue, I, I don't think you can, especially if you've ridden one of these bikes. It's just super smooth. It always goes where you need it to go. It's just phenomenal. In the world. I'm following another motorcyclist that apparently doesn't know how to lean. But on to the aspect of leaning. This bike has a curb weight of like 438 or something around that. So it's a, it's it's heavy, I guess you could say, but honestly, when you're rolling, it does not feel as such. This does not feel like a heavy bike. You don't notice the weight. Uh, again, we're talking about street riding here. I'm not pushing it into turns on track or anything like that. Like, what is it gonna feel like for me as a street rider? Well, this is how it's going to feel. It's comfortable for a sport bike. You have to understand that. You are aggressively forward. This is the type of bike that it is. Oh, man. There's just power everywhere. Like, that was well out of the band in sixth gear going up the hill. Ah, my nose itches, sorry. <laughs> and it bogs and then picks up. One of the uh, criticisms I did have for the regular RS3 4 was, I guess you could say there's a little bit of a lag to it uh, when you would roll on the throttle and go. This so far does not appear to have that. It doesn't appear to have that same flaw. Like that is instant. 
this is one of my favorite hills because you lose your stomach. <laughs> oh, that's nice. But listen to this click shifter. Third, second, fourth, fifth. I'm sorry, third, fourth. <laughs> I don't know how to count. It's just that smooth. Even at a bad, this is what would be a problem for most bikes. Oh, let me, uh, oh, this particular individual turn. Holy shit. Whew. So what I was gonna say was, I wanted to shift down while we were bogged down a little bit, but we'll wait for that. Holy. Oh my God. Whew. Speed, Jesus Christ. Uh, I will say, trying to lean on the brakes, they these have fantastic Brembo's on them, but they may need to be bled a smidge. Um, because when I first initiated them, there wasn't any bite, and then I had to progressively squeeze on a bike like this that can carry as much speed as it does. Uh, Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, what a monster. So here's what I want to do. We're going to keep the revs low. And we're just going to shift because most other bikes, when you have low revs like this, they don't usually either go into gear or it's very harsh. So we'll go fourth to fifth at 40 miles an hour. Beautiful, smooth. We even go to six right now. Gorgeous. The quick shift on this bike is second to none. And here's the other good thing. If you ride on the street a lot, it'll be fine for you because of right here, 40 miles an hour in six gear. That's comfortable. Oh my God, six gear, the pickup, the throttle response is just instant. Oh yeah, that's nice. That guy hit somebody. <laughs> so, like I said, this is a very quick review, unfortunately. But, let's go over a few things. This does have cruise control. <laughs> it's got a pit limit area. It's got cruise control. So, right now, you can set it, and, and I can stay at 50 miles an hour. Like, increase, decrease, whatever. So, this bike already has more features than what competition the Ducati has which again is a bike I absolutely love so don't think I'm turning my nose up at it but the turn into this is surprising oh god damn oh I love that hill because the front end gets a little light but the turn into this man it just feels like a 300 pound bike it's not but it honestly feels like it turns in better than the v4 from ducati which is crazy because that bike i had to recalibrate my turn in on that because i felt it was quicker at turning in than the 1299 few downsides to this bike one it's purely aesthetics for whatever dumbass reason aprilia still puts halogen bulbs in their fucking bikes instead of leds i have no idea why they need to change that this whole setup still feels like it's as old as it is like 12 years old uh while the gauge or the dash is nice it's easily lit there's a lot of stuff on it the the track control the modes the abs all this stuff is is in this corner and there's just a lot going on there i mean i like the lean angle little counter there is pretty cool uh i just think there needs to be a little more contrast in some of the little slope that's there uh, it needs a little updating and so does so does the styling of this bike because it is it's an old style it's uh it's been around for a while um that's not to say that it's a bad bike by any means though it's it's not like it's dated and it's terrible it's just dated and you can kind of tell in its competitors oh man the get up on this thing is insane. 
I can see this almost being a better track bike than the V4 simply because it feels easier to manage. And again, this is such a quick review. If I take it on the track, I might be eating my words. But right now, from this, that's my opinion of it. The other, like I said, there are a few bad things. Like I said, the seat is just like the RS4 where it's wide. So you almost have to be taller just to stand on it or just to be able to put your feet down. But when you put your legs up, look at where I'm at. My knee is almost touching my elbows. It's, it's a very cramped, but here's the thing. If you're on the track, you have so much room to actually scoot back. So as a taller rider, it's accommodating in that regard. So if you actually want to scoot back and get under the tank, you know, under the screen and everything, you can. There's, there's a lot of real estate back here and the seat is really accommodating to that fact. Like I said, I, I think the brakes might need to be bled. Um, I remember the RS4 having uh, really strong brakes. And while these are strong, you kind of almost got to squeeze them a little bit too hard in my, for my personal taste uh, to, get which, to get the braking power you want out of them. Oh, guys. I don't know. This might be something I got to add to the garage here. I know uh, my good buddy 650E but just built one of these, but man, I had to buy one for myself just because it's a phenomenal machine. The, the tip in, in everything on this is very surprising. I did not expect it to be that easy. I remember what keeps drawing me back to this bike is when I took the RC4 up the mountain for the first time, I felt instantly comfortable on it. Everything felt right. I, I wasn't over, I wasn't scared of the power. I understood it. it. The feedback through the front end was great. And this is no different. Um, I've, I've heard that the suspension is um, tweaked a smidge. It's a little bit different. Uh, I don't know the actual specs, but I've heard it makes a big difference. And the fact that it comes with this Akrapovich, Akrapovich, whatever the fuck you want to set, call it, <laughs> exhaust. Man, is she scream. This is a phenomenal machine. I want to thank everyone at On Any Moto for allowing me to take out this beast. If you're in Tucson, Arizona, or if you're anywhere within Arizona's range, hit them up. They got a great selection, they'll get it to you. I mean, they ship one of my bikes over to Europe, so they'll send them anywhere. <laughs> Just, you know, give them some time, because, you know, it's, it's tough to ship stuff. But what are my overall thoughts? Very quickly, immense amount of power. The handling is superb, very surprising. The brakes, uh, again, I, I just think they need to be bled. Other than that, they're strong and will slow you down. <laughs> I, I didn't get a chance to play with electronics or that stuff, but man, what a machine. What a machine. <sighs> Absolutely incredible. Ooh, no, 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 it's not parked there. Yeah. Well, with that, y'all have a good one. Hope you enjoyed this very quick review. I'm out. And I found the kickstand. Look at that.